Okay, in this video we're just going to talk about using the Rode Wireless Go mics as a USB interface. So I've got the Rode Wireless Go receiver set and essentially what we're going to do is just run through some of the options that a lot of people don't actually know about the um, the Rode mics that you, that you can kind of use them for a lot of extra things. So the, the first thing you can do, um, obviously you can plug the... Um, the transmitters and receivers into USB ports to charge them um, and if you plug them into a laptop or desktop what you'll find is if they're switched off um, they will be recording and when you switch them on what you'll actually find is that if you plug the uh, the transmitter in it will actually show up as a USB audio input so once you've plugged it in if you obviously plug the transmitter in and plug the oh sorry not plug it in switch on the uh, the receiver as well uh, what you'll find is you can plug it in over USB and then you've got a usable input so I'll, I'll show you quickly on here just how it sort of pops up and and comes back so essentially with just the cables provided you've got yourself a, a quite a handy USB interface you can obviously use this as a mic um, or you can also use the, oh, I'm not sure where, my ones are, here we go. You can use um, uh, lav mics with it. I use the, actually use the uh, Rode uh, lavalier mics, but you know, you, you can use any, any different ones with it. Or this is actually a microphone itself, as you know, if you own it. So um, you, you've got quite a few nice little options, you know, so you could do things like um, screencasting, or you can do voiceovers for things. Like one thing I find it really useful for is um, I, I'll quite often do videos where we'll be in quite noisy environments. So say, you know, you're on a factory floor and you're doing a bit of video and quite often the people in the videos, they're not, um, you know, they're not presenters. They're generally employees or directors. So um, as they're talking, sometimes some of the audio is maybe not usable and I'll kind of be marking that down. But rather than making them redo lines all the time, um, one quite nice thing that I'll do is I'll just leave, leave it, sort of salvage the usable audio. And then when we go into somewhere quieter, like an office space or something, what I tend to do is while we're still on the the factory floor I'll just record some ambient audio without anyone talking and then when we when we get into that quieter space I'll just have them redo a few of the lines that maybe I thought could have been redone and then they're not having to redo the lines and getting nervous they can sit in a nice quiet space redo the lines I can merge those two tracks together and then just do it, uh, use it with some cutaways and then you know you, you've got some nice kind of usable footage there and you're not having to rely on tracks where maybe um, they sort of weren't so confident and you know the, some of the other tracks sometimes sound better so it just gives you some options so I, I find that really useful and then to expand on that the, the next really good thing you can do with it oh actually I suppose um, yeah, if you've got um, this cable, if you've got a laptop like mine, so I've got a MacBook Pro, fairly recent one, it's USB-C, so you'll need one of these dongles to use it, which, you know, a lot of things use um, the uh, the older USB type input, so you've likely got one of these anyway. But one really useful thing I find to have in my camera bag is one of these. So I, I've got an Android phone, Android tablet, so for me this is this is the right wire because it's the USB-C option. Um, but they also have uh, one that works for iPhone and iPad, which um, you know you, you might also also find useful. But luckily for me, because I use everything USB-C essentially, so th this cable I can use for everything. I can plug it straight into my laptop and into the um, transmitter. And also, if you've got a any other USB-C device, like I say, like a phone or a tablet. So what we can do is we can actually just plug it straight into here. And then I'm just going to use the, um, there's a free app called, sorry if I can find it. Uh, yeah, you can use Road Reporter, which is a free app. So you can see it's just recording my voice because um, it's coming in from the uh, from the mic um, input, which I can't remember where it is, on the top or the bottom. And then what you can essentially do is turn on your wireless transmitter, plug it in, and then you'll find what will happen is you won't get anything. So um, it, it'll all be gone because the, we haven't got the um, the receiver on. But once the receiver's switched on, 
you can see now we can actually use again lavalier or straight from this uh, straight into the tablet so again you've got a really nice option for um, recording kind of you know voiceovers or just audio capture it could be foley you know whatever you want really i mean you can plug other microphones into um uh it kind of into into these so you know you've got quite a wide option there and it's really useful because then you know if my camera's tied up doing something i'll be able to grab some bits on a tablet or a phone and what can be really useful as well um if if you want video too you could use something like filmic and filmic lets you um pick your external audio source excuse me so um you could actually use the rode wireless whilst you're filming video on the um in filmic as well so you know if you're in a pinch or maybe you're just somebody that likes to film with a smartphone or a tablet you know you, you've got some really nice options there because one of the biggest drawbacks i mean that i find anyway using you know a phone or a tablet for filming anything really is the audio so you've got audio that's going straight into there you don't have to sync it it's just a really nice option and then the other thing you'll find you probably saw this popping up every time i know you can't really see the screen very well but i'll leave links to these apps and things essentially if you've got the um, road central set up road central mobile um, you can actually go into that as well so now we can actually even change things on our devices while we're out and about because we've got this cable so you know i use my phone all the time to change these and i'll use sometimes my tablet as like the uh, to, to kind of plug it into and get things changed on it so uh, most of the things you can actually change on the mic itself um you probably can't see these options very well on the screen but if you if you've ever seen road central you know you know what we're looking at but um yeah you can do things like change it from um, split mode to merged which is probably one of the most important and just sort of um, switch things up as, as you go in. So um, it's really handy to have that because having a laptop around is not convenient really uh, for a lot of times when I'm out shooting. So generally on my phone, I'll be able to plug it in. I'll be able to make changes to these mics and that's really useful for me. And uh, the other useful thing as well, if you switch it off, like I mentioned before, um, switch it off and you can just come out of that you can actually just charge it from your tablet or your phone. So um, with the uh, wireless Go 2 set that I've got, um, you know, if you're only filming one person, you've got two of these as backups um, or one as a backup. But this um, transmitter, you need to be charged up. So, you know, quite often when it's not in use, I'll just take it off and I'll just have it charging. Could be a power bank, but it's good to know that, you know, my tablet or my phone can do it as well. So... Yeah, hopefully, you know, that's given you a bit of an idea about some of the things you can actually do with it, because there's a lot of um, there's a lot of additional things you can kind of do that I think a lot of people probably haven't thought about with the um, with the road mics. And it, you do have to um, have that additional cable, you know, for for some of those bits. But when we're talking about microphones, you know, that cost, you know, I think um I'm trying to think what they cost when I bought them. I bought them when they came out and, you know, I think they were a couple hundred pounds and this cable's about 15 pounds. So for what it gives you, you know, I feel like it really opens up the way you can use the mic. So for the additional, you know, 10 or 15 pounds, this cable's brilliant. Um, like I say, if you use iPhone and you've got, a, um, you know, maybe you've got other devices, a USB-C, you may have to buy both of the cables, but... Even so, like I say, I, I really think like these, these are worth the investment. So um, it's definitely something to think about. So if you found this video useful, please give it a like. If you want to see more content like this, then please subscribe.